Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today, guys, we are going to be talking about a secret collection of mine, a collection within my collection that doesn't get a lot of attention, obviously, because modern day, we are all aboard the hype train when it comes to JDM, Hondas, Toyotas, Nissans, Skylines in general. I mean, those are the cream of the crop at the moment. But I have a particular collection and a very narrow down niche of cars that I want to share with you guys that, again, personally, it's something that I've really come to revive and hunt for actively, looking to add more pieces to, as well as keep it as a long-term investment strategy. And that, of course, as you can see right in front of you right here, are Ferraris. And more specifically, Ferraris in enamel red. So let's back up just a little bit. About 10 years ago, that's when my Ferrari craze really kicked in. And reason being is I had an opportunity with my job where it took me out to Italy. And while I was out there, I actually went and toured the Ferrari Museum in Marinello, Italy. It was just an awesome experience. I mean, floors and floors of nothing but vintage, classic Ferraris went through and toured all the F1 racing heritage that Ferrari has to offer on top of just seeing all of the latest and greatest Ferraris and at the time I recall that the La Ferrari was still a concept car and I remember just seeing all the clay molded parts and all the information they provided on the speed in the engine and just the overall like design of this car which was just really revolutionary at the time and obviously this car went to become a legend part of the holy trinity and then after the fact i just remember that anytime i ever saw a ferrari which was very far and few between but every time i saw one i just took notice of it and it just hit a very personal spot you know within my mind within my collecting habits and just always looking out for ferraris especially if they were red i mean let's face it guys if it's a ferrari it's got to be red i'm not even a guy who likes red cars i've never owned a red car but if i ever won the lottery fingers crossed the first thing i'm gonna buy is a red ferrari with a tan interior I mean, I just think that's such a classic look. You can't have a Ferrari without it being red. I mean, this one in particular, the Ferrari California. I remember going to a very ritzy part of town. Cars were getting valeted. And as we were walking into the shopping area, a red Ferrari California, just like this, with a tan interior pulled up beside me. And it got valeted. And man what a breathtaking moment i mean this car in real life is just gorgeous and i mean that did it for me if it's a ferrari it's got to be red it's got to have a tan interior so getting back to the diecast cars we all know that sadly ferrari ended its ties with hot wheels back in 2015 this was essentially the last ferrari release and it was in the form of a super treasure hunt the ferrari 599 xx in this gray in a main line and then also in a black spectra flame for the super treasure hunt so it's been about eight years since we've been ferrari less and obviously we've found other cars and castings to kind of fill the gap but i think these hot wheels ferraris are just timeless i mean there was a period where you always associated ferraris with hot wheels when it came to die cast cars you always saw Ferraris as a kid growing up within the Hot Wheels pegs. So that nostalgia and overall interest from a Hot Wheels collector standpoint is always going to be there. And that's definitely reflected within the secondary market. I mean, if you just go online and look up lots of Ferraris for sale, I mean, depending on how many cars there are, they are always fetching a decent amount of money. For instance, this month alone, I was watching one lot of Hot Wheels Ferraris, just nine in enamel red, and it eventually sold for $100. And from the same seller, you had 17 mixed match of Ferraris in other colors, and that ended up selling for $124. So it just kind of goes to show that even from a collector standpoint, although it's not widely broadcast, red is the go-to color when it comes to Hot Wheels. Ferraris specifically, I mean, just take for instance this Ferrari Italia 458. 
So I don't even remember when I got this car, but it couldn't have been more for two to three dollars, maybe even retail. I must have gotten it in some kind of lot. But this sells on the secondary market right now for about five dollars. That was essentially the last sold listing. This Ferrari F40 with the gold slot wheels and the opening rear end to expose that giant V12 motor. This right now on the secondary market, latest sold for a loose version of this car was $20. And a very race inspired Ferrari P4, doesn't matter, loose, damaged, dented, paint chipped, they all still sell for $5 on the secondary market. And one of my all time favorite Ferraris, the La Ferrari, and it doesn't even matter, carded or loose, this car is always selling for $20 on the secondary market, give or take. I mean, just look at all those lines. This cast is just super intricate. I mean, you don't even have to be a Ferrari fan. It just looks great. So eye-catching, guys. So how have I been adding to my red Ferrari collection, you guys might ask? You guys know I'm betting big when it comes to boulevards, especially the old school boulevard releases. Again, this statement couldn't be more true ahead of its time, but this is the Ferrari F40. Again, an enamel red. It's got that black base there. The classic five star real riders. I mean, this thing just looks great. My favorite thing about the Ferrari F40 casting from back in the day, it's got this metal base, and then I love how the metal base turns into the headlights. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Usually nowadays we see the acrylic from the windshield get extended down, but they took a different approach with this cast and I just feel like that's so unique. But this one on a pretty decent card, I personally paid about $150 for this, but the really strange thing is that the last two sold listings on eBay, this car has actually dropped down to 120. So maybe it's a buy low on this car right now. And continuing on with my quest for really nice examples of enamel red Ferraris. I did a little research and just wanted to see what was the first red Ferrari enamel red. And it turned out to be this red line. So my first red line within my collection, this one dating back to 1970, just two years after the birth of Hot Wheels and what a masterpiece guys the 312p sealed in pack with button i mean the car condition again for being about 50 years old it's not terrible i mean a couple of bends and dented corners but overall still intact and just looks great and the car itself i mean there's no mistake it is true to form hot wheels red line i love that giant ferrari yellow emblem right there in the front this is a hong kong produced car and from my research how you can tell is it has that blue plexiglass there for the front windshield and also it being sealed and packed you guys can see the base no tarnish bright as new but just such a historic piece i mean a piece of history to be perfectly honest and that is exactly why i wanted to add this to my collection but again the first enamel red Ferrari. So how much did I pay for this? Well, I ponied up a little bit. I mean, I've had a good month when it came to YouTube and just buy, sell, trade. So I ended up picking this up for around $280. So it came out to about $300 after taxes and fees. But if you look at the secondary market for the last couple of months, going back to May, it sold for $240. Then in June, it had a massive spike up to 420. And then in July here, even after I purchased mine for 280, there was another that sold for about 270, all carded in pack. I mean, in all honesty, how often do you see a red line still in pack 50 years later? And in all honesty, guys, they are definitely going to get lower and lower in quantity as more collectors are picking these up and i honestly again just feel like with the disappearance of ferrari from the hot wheels lineup i mean these are going to be the cars that are going to be sought after moving forward
So is collecting Hot Wheels, Ferraris really that big of a secret? Probably not. I think we all know that with the dis disappearance of the license, I mean, obviously Hot Wheels, Ferraris are a hot commodity right now, but it's just sometimes you, you forget just due to the fact that there's so much hype around neon speeders and modern day boulevards and hondas and civics and supras and, and skylines that you forget about the old school classic hot wheels ferrari so really i just wanted to remind you guys that if you're into hot wheels you're wanting to collect rare sought after pieces that are no longer made that have a level of rarity to them and also serve as a great investment piece into your collection I don't think you can look at any better example than Hot Wheels Ferraris and again the whole enamel red I mean that's just my particular niche when it comes to collecting these monsters but man they just look so good when they're all together as many as I can get in loose form too I mean they just look great kind of like this Ferrari FF the all-wheel drive Ferrari hatchback I mean, something about having these in hand as well, too. I mean, just shining that red paint. Man, it just looks great. And that beautiful tan interior as well, too. So, highly recommend it. And if you were to ask me about my opinion, if Hot Wheels Ferraris are ever going to make a comeback into the lineup, I honestly think it's a possibility. A lot like how Toon Cars like this Toon Ferrari Modena and this Toon Ferrari Enzo. Toon cars are back. They look like they're here to stay over the last couple of years. I mean, we've seen the Toon VW. We've seen the Toon Fast and Furious Supra Charger. We've seen a Toon Beetle and also recently leaked is a Toon Porsche. So what's to say? that if tune cars can come back into the lineup why can't ferraris i think we're probably just a couple of negotiations away again i don't know what that equates to in the number of years but my guess is hot wheels is doing everything in their power to bring back the nostalgia they know what their collectors want i mean obviously they're doing pretty good in the exotics department with lamborghinis and zondas and mclarens but we all know that the king of exotics is ferraris and i'm sure hot wheels is doing whatever they can within their power to bring it back for us but that's my thought on ferraris the enamel red ones specifically let me know what your thoughts are about collecting ferraris let me know which ones you have in your collection or if there's a particular niche of ferraris that you collect like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars